Good afternoon, this is Sirena Nereida with Celestial Soul Wellness and today we're talking about the new moon in Leo, okay? And it's at three de degrees, four de degrees Leo and it's a very creative new moon. Uh, remember, new moon has the strength uh, because it's the sun and the moon in the same sign and it's pulling. It's like a tug of war going all in the same direction. Not even a tug of war, it's just like, let's go, let's go, a buddy pull. Okay, so we have a lot of creativity going on with the Leo um, uh, energies going. Uh, remember, there's a lot of, uh, it's creativity, music, dance, having fun, entertainment. Okay, being in the spotlight. Ah, okay, having that there, I know, my, my spotlight's kind of off. Okay, and uh, children, really enjoying children, got to enjoy your children, okay, play, a lot of play, having fun, romance, candles, lights, you know, um, having that special moment. We're not talking about marriage, okay, we're not talking about sex, we're talking about romance, courting someone, giving the flowers, serenading. Just making them feel that wonderfully special out there, okay? And so tender in that. Another thing to remember, though, the dark, the shadow side of the Leo is when they're ego-driven. When they try and it's all about them. They're not sharing, okay? But for the most part, most Leos realize that they cannot be king or queen without a kingdom. And with a kingdom... It has to have people, their subjects, and their subjects are their public, and their public have to admire them. And the only way they can admire is really if they are enjoying their king or queen. So that means the king and queen have to be giving, have to be understanding and compassionate and welcoming of its subject matters. So it's not all about them. It's more or less being selfishly and selfish because you're saying, I'm going to do this, but I I'm going to present this in this parade, so I get to walk down that parade, but the people are going to have fun with it and some freebies and, you know, so it's a win-win situation. Leo's love win-win situations all the time. Now, remember, when you, that any sign, two genders, it's going to be different, okay? So the masculine essence of a sign and a feminine essence is very different. In this case, we have the male uh, Leo uh, line which is going to be, which is redundant because it, male and lion is the same thing here, you know, well, um, male Leo and the lion, there you go. Anyway, oh, the teacher and me, huh? So, um, the male uh, Leo is the one who protects, he's watching out, he's making sure that everything's good, that the kids are, kids are okay, they're alive, they're okay, no one's coming to harm them, great. We are. He sleeps all day because he is vigilant at night, roaming the kingdom, making sure. And a lot of Leos I do know are nocturnal and have wonderful jobs and love being up late, you know. And they're early morning. It's the daytime they really don't care for, you know. Oh. Now, the lioness, the female Leo, is different. She is active. She's the one who goes on the hunt. She looks at what's going on. She knows how to stalk. <gasps> yes, you heard right. She knows how to stalk. And she goes after her prey. And she's there between the grass blades, the trees behind the rocks. And she's watching because she is going to provide for the children, for the pride. Okay? This lioness with her sister lionesses. Yes, she shares her line. Why? Because she doesn't want to do everything by herself. Okay? And realizes part of the pride. This way you have someone doing the garden, someone doing the cleaning, someone doing, you know, this and that. And she doesn't have to always pay attention to the line. She gets to be with the children and do her own thing, like paint her toenails or her claws. But anyway, going back to the lioness who is stalking carefully her prey. Okay? And they go. And at an opportune time, she hits into the vulnerability. And that is more or less true. Yet she's very caring and giving to her children. Very, all right? Not necessarily nurturing, but caring. She cares and it's going to create opportunities for the children to get ahead. Because after all, she wants her cub to be the next 
king or a queen all right and that needs to be remembered okay in a pride so um uh also too is the lion does kick out the teenage lion all right after you know unless the teenage lion can overcome his papa so those are certain things you need to take in effect because they want to have the attention they need the attention they want it and they're going to do anything for it which means they can't walk over um, their children or their cubs in the process unfortunately especially if it's a masculine essence okay it's one of those i mean now you're understanding the stories of the greek mythology right okay how they come into play because you probably have seen adults like that and nowadays so who will run over their children and um for the sake of their own you know and um not care okay so um it, it is what it is another thing about the leo okay you have to play and i mean just play and laugh go to comedy shows really really take the time to enjoy the life because if you're surviving life remember both Leo is protective and watching out all around his kingdom to make sure everybody can sleep peacefully at night. It's time to play also. Okay, because surviving, they don't focus on surviving. Everybody's trying to survive from them. Okay, they're focused on living and enjoying life. And that's what's really important these days is to enjoy and live life. So some things that are going on and um i just want to let you know what the sabian symbol and um is uh, a man formally dressed and a deer with its horns folded okay so it's a man formally dressed you know and a deer with its horns folded what does this mean Distress, relax, not needing to be on guard. If you're constantly on guard, you notice when you're on guard, all this is stressed out. Your shoulders, your back, all, the, and you're constantly like this. And then they wonder why they come to people like me to get their energy done and release because they're constantly, they're doing it on themselves. Why are they all constantly on guard? A person is constantly going to be on guard only if they have fear. When we release the fear, we become like the lion. We just make our presence known. And we don't need to be on guard. We just are there. And everybody backs. We don't have to control others. Because we know ourselves and we control ourselves. It's very important to remember that. Also, becoming focused on what is true purpose of being okay not doing i see a lot of people are trying to move all the time <sighs> that's the worst thing to do you're ungrounded people who are shaking the legs all the time or, mm, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay those are people that are not really focused they're not looking at you they're not listening to you they're not intaking completely what you're saying a way a person stands sits holds himself says so much about them Take one of my classes and you'll learn more about that, okay? So remember, a person always like this is right away looking down their nose going, hmm. Even if it's because they have glasses on, they get into that habit because they have to do that because of the glasses. If they don't have the uh, courtesy to take off the glass and look you straight at the eye, then you realize that they are trying to, hmm, I don't really think so. Appreciate, okay? Remember, um, certain things always too too much too much pride to it that they have to show it okay a person who stands just erect shoulders down back relax balanced solar plexus balanced middle grounded breathe deeply in through their abdominal region through their intestines okay not their chest then you know that they're grounded that they are a healthy emotional individual if not then you know what you're dealing with and that's very important because when our american society has said we need to move 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 to be successful to be someone if not that we're losers okay or we're no good or we're not contributing okay that's a bunch of baloney because you really have to think about things 
okay? You really have to consider it all the way through. And you have to let it just simmer before making a decision. If you're making a haphazard decision, then you know something is wrong, all right? Unless it's life or death, relax, take the time and think about it. And that is what the Leo does because he doesn't just jump at anything that comes after it. Maybe a cub does, but not the lioness, okay? She takes her time and looks at the location, the environment, and see what's available. And then looks around, okay? And then also they share. The Leos love to share their abundance. They love to share their bounty. They love to share their booty. When I say booty, I'm talking about pirate's booty. Ah, yeah, got you there. Okay, and they like to really, I mean, you gotta be uh, careful, little Leos, because you're the one who's so willing to pick up that check, you know, when um, at the restaurant, like, oh, no, no, let me, because you want to make sure everybody's having a great time. The Capricorns are thrilled about this, especially the Virgos and Taurus. They're like, ah, oh, Leo's pick up the check. Ah, my next friend's a Leo. <laughs> okay. They'll try somehow to give gifts and love and all that. But they do also realize when they're taking that, being taken advantage. And being the king, they do have a dungeon. Ah, did you hear that, Capricorns, Le uh, Virgos, and Taurus? Yes. They have a dungeon. Remember. It's their kingdom. Don't cross a Leo. Because if you're lucky, you end in the dungeon instead of the beheading. Okay? So the guillotine or the axemen. So remember that. Okay? And this is a time, and that's why it's also a time of a lot of stress. Because we have the sun. Okay? I mean, um, uh, the moon is uh, squaring Mars, which means the sun obviously is squaring Mars also, okay? But um, for about the seven weeks, there's going to be challenges, frustrations, and um, oh, Mars is in Scorpio. It's wants to move ahead. It's getting there, and it's about time. It is so tired of being in Libra. All right, they're always thinking of other people. It's like, let's go. I got to take care of these things and I'm on my own. But what happens? It's so tired of having to be considerate and harmonious that it might even do a little bit of deviousness. And Mars thinks that the sun is not going to see this in Leo. Leo's, uh, you know, ruled by the sun. Um, we have Scorpio that's ruled by Mars. So the scorpion thinks, oh, I got this hard shell. I could get away with this. Uh -huh. No. Okay, so be careful. Um, try not to go overboard. Um, you're only going to feel that pull and struggle, so right? And that need for creativity because a Scorpio is creative also. It needs transformation. It's been wanting transformation. And Leo says, yes, transform, but transform into the good for the best of you and for other people, not just for your own plan. And not necessarily no harmonious, but what is healthy and how you can contribute and give more because Leo is about contributing and giving and being of the people. We the people, of the people, okay? By the people, right? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, my nose. So that's uh, the incense. Mm, I have the gardenia patchouli on today, so I'm loving it. Okay. Also remember, too, that um, we have Saturn uh, trying a Chiron, okay? Potentials and ventures with friends and blurring the lines and not seeing things clearly because, um, you know, with all that going on, uh, Kyrene wants to um, help out and to heal, but it is in Pisces, okay? Yet Saturn is in Scorpio, so it's saying, let's do this, and let's do this transformation. And Kyrene's like, yeah, I think we're doing a transformation, but kind of like the undercurrents and the tides of Pisces. It's going, mm, maybe not, kind of yes, I think so. And so it's sounding a little wishy-washy, okay? And Saturn's like, get it together, Pisces. Let's go, let's go. Come on, straighten out. You know, and Pisces is like, I don't want to. I'm having fun here. It's better. 
just give me some new shoes <laughs> okay so be careful with that um also we have mars squaring uh the moon and um and uh jupiter and the sun so we have a lot of expansion mars just is like please let me go let me go i need my space i want to um you know i need to be alone i need to get away and um you know <laughs> and the jupiter's like Woo, we got a party here come on leo let's go and the moon and sun are all with it too and they're like yes and it's gonna expand and mars is like oh, i just needed some I just needed some sex. Do I really have to go to the party and flirt and all that? Can I just say, hey, you, looking good. Let's go back to my place, <laughs> okay? They're so tired and exhausted with all that, trying to be harmonious with the relationships, and it's understood. But remember, too, that Mars is conjunct Vesta. And so we're having these sudden issues and things going on, these sudden occurrences and happen uh, happenings that we're wondering, Oh, wait, is it fate? Is it fate? Because Scorpio loves faded things, you know. Without realizing that a lot of things that are faded, we prepared for, we asked for, we put it out to the universe, to God and all that. And so we created those things without realizing it, okay. And so it's like, woohoo, here it is. And at the same time, they're the ones who created it all. So um, <clears throat> also, too, it's best to keep... Uh, you know, uh, connections with your siblings and cousins are well established, okay? Um, also, keep balance with your business partners and romantic partners because Uranus can suddenly come in to need to move ahead with family matters. It's saying, hey, certain things with family need to move ahead and, and sudden, it's unexpected. So, who knows? And that's going to create mm, some issues because we still do have things going on in cancer all right i mean we have the vertex still in cancer we still have venus in cancer okay we still have mercury in cancer so people are kind of like oh yes that they're, they're saying certain things but they're not being completely honest mars wants to move on something but it's like what okay i'm here for you buddy i'm here talk to me yeah cancer's kind of going this way and that way and not being direct about the situation and Jupiter's flabbergasted going, oh my God, must we, must we, must we, you want me to support this guy? They don't even know where they're going, okay? And and Mars is like, no, just listen, just listen. And so Cancer's kind of creating on this, uh, is good with uh, Scorpio, but it's creating problems for Scorpio with Leo, okay? And that's not uh, a very harmonious situation. Also, too, remember that Venus is opposite of uh, Capricorn. So we're having that push and pull, a lot of family issues once again, because we got the Capricorn family dedications and loyalty. We have uh, Cancer family dedication and loyalty. Have you noticed how many adult children there are who are taking care of the parents so the parents are, cannot be uh, so they're not alone especially if the parents are from an old country and they're like oh well I need to be there even if the parents have their own place they're like I'm gonna you know um, uh, support them and they themselves don't get into a relationship these adult children because they're constantly focused on their parents and really if you're a parent and you have a situation like that or if you're single remember your children are your children they're not to take care of you you made your choices as an adult i made my choices as an adult they're not our uh we are not their obligation to take care of and that's something very important to remember and to accept okay and um because that's a heavy load it's not fair and the old self people say oh have a lot of children because the more children you have you know um they'll take care of you and that is not necessary so and it's not good and it shouldn't have to be if we take care of our body if we take care of our mind have our minerals and uh, vitamin supplements we eat right stay off the gluten stay off the gmo stay off the cholesterol uh, the bad cholesterol and uh, stay active mentally and physically we're going to live a very long time i mean i give a lot a lot a lot of kudos to um one of my favorite fire sign people and that's my uh Hawaiian dancing coach, um, Miss Tony Stewart, you know, with Kuipo Hula, and she's in her 80s, and she's just going. When I grow up, I want to be like her. <laughs> ah, I'm only halfway there, but still, that's good, because I'm like, yeah, 
I like that. It's, you know, to have someone like that. And you need to be that way. If you are under 75 and your children are taking care of you, you need to get healthy. You need to get healthy. Okay, your quality of life is bad and you're enslaving your children. Is that what you really want? Don't you want your children to be free and have fun? Don't you want to have fun with them instead of constantly be hmm, hmm, hmm? Okay, come see me. Energy clearance. We'll just check that out and see what's going on and why you're having obstacles, why you're having disease, why you're having chronic things going on. That's your body saying something is wrong, okay? So going on back now here, we have many challenges. Uh, continuing, we're talking about challenges because of uh, these challenges, the energies that we are getting uh, uh, to, is giving us an opportunity to recreate ourselves. So these obstacles, people are going, oh no, here we go again. We should say, oh wait, I get a new, there's a new key, a new clue for which way I should be going, okay? Which road I should be taking. Instead of saying, oh God, that's an obstacle. It could be a, a, a way to go to a certain way, a uh, section, and that should be interesting. Instead of going, oh no, just sit back and listen and put the pieces together and see yourself through the mist, the mystery through the mist. You are, we ourselves are the main mystery. We keep saying, oh, everybody else, oh, I just don't understand them. Really, we don't understand ourselves because we really don't need to understand anybody. We just need to know ourselves, trust ourselves and how we move. And that's one thing the Leo does, the king does the lioness does she trusts in herself she doesn't have to control others okay she controls herself and knows all right she is capable almost fearless and because of that there's no need to control others anybody who tries to control or dominate others is because they have no discipline or control of themselves and they have insecurities that they're unworthy and they probably are knowing compared to other people in the world because they don't have enough attributes or talents to be able to and they're afraid that the per people that they're trying to control are going to find out and leave them and they are feeding vampire energy off that those people love instead of being grounded and providing for their own love their own universe and from their god okay and that in a nutshell is really what's going on there okay so more things that are going on is um again we're getting uh with um, a Saturn squaring a Mercury, we get a discipline, so we get a lot of sibling support, and it's steady and stable, and that is nice. We're getting it there, and it's feeling good. It's like, woohoo, you know, brothers, sisters getting together, okay? Orale, bro, ven a comer conmigo, ven, vamos a salir, a plática, mi hermano mío, huh? Okay, and this is where everybody, hey, brother, 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 okay? Hey, sister, fraternity, fraternité. Okay, we have Vertex also conjunct Mercury. So sudden messages, okay, are coming through, faded connections that um, lead us to a certain direction. And that's very good because we didn't realize those opportunities. Another thing we have going is the moon uh, in Leo is also conjunct just Jupiter. So expansion, be careful because you can expand. You can bloat, which means, okay, I'm not going to drink any more water. No, it means lay off the salt, lay off the gluten, lay off the starchy carbs, because that bloats, that inflames, that makes you swollen, not good. Mm. But drink your cold green tea, at least room temperature. It's refreshing in the summer heat, okay? Oh, being in California, I love it, I love it, I love, you know um but um i think it's time to go surfing tomorrow okay so anyway um so time to play 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 with all that again uh sun is uh you know will square um saturn within these next two weeks so we got again personal challenges and uh, need attention um there's going to be manipulation attempts unfortunately they're going to be play of psychological issues and we have to consider why what is going on okay and um to understand all that remember it's a good time to get all these things going because mercury we just talked about mercury coming out of its storm yet in october it goes retrograde so we got these two months to just go 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 okay so um uh let's see here 
those people most affected are anybody from you know 28 degrees uh, cancer to about uh, five degrees five six degrees Leo all right so 20 um, again it's gonna be like 28 degrees of a water sign to uh, about uh, um, five degrees of a uh, sun sign in there and um, so that also means anybody born around and also the earth signs okay so we have um, here we go uh, I wrote this down I'm so please bear with me January 12th 13th okay um, going to uh, February 25th 26th uh, April 12th uh, May 28th 29th these changes uh, July 14th 15th okay also going on anybody within you know uh, five degrees of that okay so or five days of these dates all right August 30 31 October 15 16 11 um, November uh, 14 15 and um, I have also I said all that okay kind of have redundancy here so um, and there you go all right so <laughs> I'm sorry as you can tell I'm in a new location and I don't have everything as organized as I would like to my Venus and Virgo is frustrated with that okay so is my south node in Virgo and um, yes you guys didn't know my north node is in Pisces hence <laughs> okay <laughs> what I do right okay and why I see things and all that so it makes all sense okay but um, and why I was a teacher makes sense too because the south node being comfortable all right now I taught foreign languages challenge for all you beginner astrologers are you astrologers where is my north node in what house okay so now going on here let's do the individual um what are we doing here the individual signs so that means here Aries you got Leo in your fifth house all right so it's all about children everything we've mentioned anytime Aries you're lucky because anytime what we've mentioned already it's showing there your um your situation you have more children more romance going on in your life okay more opportunities uh, to expand um, your romances be careful of having two okay because it can happen make sure you are balancing that you know go for it enjoy have fun um, maybe you will find romance through your children maybe you'll have children through your romance <laughs> okay and much more fun Taurus this is happening in your um, <clears throat> fourth house okay and your fourth house is dealing with your mother uh, your physical being not your appearance what I mean your base your home base being grounded your your okay the solar plex solar plex is right there okay and uh, <laughs> okay and so um situations at home the home base your physical home okay and uh, how things are changing and transforming and new opportunities going on so things are going on with your mother so you know call them in and see how things are all right Gemini this is happening in your um, third house so communications with your siblings all right new opportunities uh, with your cousins and then taking classes in the community start going more walks enjoying all right um, really expanding yourself uh, perhaps uh, giving classes taking classes okay and are uh, really seeing what's out there and staying grounded try and find your grounding okay and uh, reading more being more with publications and all that um, we have um, after Gemini huh, cancer <laughs> don't you just love when when an astrologer has one of those hearts like uh, what's follows can Gemini <laughs> okay and I should know so cancer and some of you people don't know but I'm gonna share with you I'm a cusp baby yes I'm a cusp baby and so <clears throat> I've mentioned uh, a couple of the cusp uh, the signs before that I'm on all right and so cancer is the cusp with Leo that I'm on but anyway cancer this is happening in your second house Woohoo! do you know what that means Jupiter has entered our finances are oh -ho -ho! okay <laughs> yes it's exciting it's expanding it's wonderful so now cancer being the person you are you got to stabilize that and make sure it's staying and it's not just 
a fling right with money for the year while Jupiter is in uh, uh, Leo okay so but the good thing to know is the year after it's in our progress sign for those of you after 30 okay yes I love to do that ah, okay <clears throat> so wonderful cancers okay um, it's uh, happening there just know and uh, you know Venus hasn't uh, um, catch up yet but also to you're expanding the way you see moral issues you're not so uptight anymore you're realizing you are not perfect and you know no one is and and it's okay and not to put those expectations just because someone's a Leo or someone's a uh, Capricorn or is the Pope or this and that your mother or if it's your father or if it's someone who is in special forces or someone who was, you know, a, uh, um, a priest or someone who was a principal. Everybody errs. And maybe they're not erring in their own eyes, but in ours. And it's okay. We just don't put too much importance on that. Because if we take care of ourselves, that's what's important. Then you're doing good, okay? So, <clears throat> now, Leos, it's all about you. Your physical appearance is probably changing. You might be expanding more. Oh, watch what you eat, watch the gluten, watch the GMOs, watch those starchy carbs. Yuck, yuck, yuck. No, uh, cut down on that sodium. Go to Himalayan salt rock. Mmm, nice salt. Doesn't bloat, okay? So really good for you, okay? Um, you might do a little bit more orange in your hair or um, red. Get that redness in there, all right? <clears throat> also, the, do know that most redheads have fire signs in them. If it's not their sun sign, it is their Mars sign or their ascendant sign or their um, moon sign. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> and they usually have an RH uh, negative factor in their blood type, which makes them sensitive. Hence why sometimes the Leo men say, I need to sleep during the day, and that's why I'm not nocturnal. That's their story, and that's their sticking to it. <clears throat> A lot of Leos, too, if you were born in the uh, end of Leo, okay, the last second, you might be going bald because you're actually in the section of Aries, all right? And so, um, because, you know, the horses have the fur, uh, but it's the man in the last section. So don't be surprised, all right? It's very typical. Or if you're a fire sign and all that. So, you want to get your teeth uh, checked out, okay? Because um, you are going to uh, need to in your joints and all that. To go physical, start uh, taking more vitamins, minerals. Make sure you're taking that magnesium, that calcium. None of the other minerals are any good without magnesium. Magnesium is the one that helps you absorb everything else, okay? So, do it, do it, do it, do it. You know, I never know. Should I be looking up here or down there? Someone uh, send me a critique on that and help me out on that, okay? Um, let's see here. We got uh, Virgos. This is happening in your 12th sign. So you're taking time back. Jupiter is helping you get closer to meditation, closer to God, to trans, uh, transforming, transitioning, and really getting in touch with yourself, being one, your pineal gland opening. Okay, focus on your mitochondria there. All right. <clears throat> your pituitary gland. And just really, really feed it. Give it a lot of spinach. Give it a lot of fruit. Give it a lot of moisture. Decalcify, decalcify, decalcify. And let me do a little energy right now for you, uh, Virgo. Remember, energy transmits through energy. This is energy. So take a nice deep breath in, Virgo. And let's go in. If you guys give permission, if you say yes at this time when I'm saying it. And even though this is delayed, it's in the recording because it's energy. And we're going to just go in, just go in. Let's just do a little bit of decalcifying in there. And I'm calling in my light team and any other light team that wants to at this time or at a future time. Or even in a past time, maybe uh, someone is going back in time to watch this. Woohoo! That'd be awesome. Anyway, that was that went to my Leo pride, huh? And so, um, and let's just go and cleanse that out. And I'm calling in my light team of uh, Mother Gaia and uh, uh, Father Space and Time. And my divine, our divine creator, and thank you for letting me be part of you, being part of your godship there. And all my ancestors, spirit guides, and animal spirit guides, archangels, yes, let's go. Got them all in who want to come and join us. Okay, my guardian angels, and call in your light team, all right? And um, 
everybody else who wants to come in and join us and let's just go inside and go in there and just open it up and decalcify so we're going in and you're gonna feel a little chipping away kind of a little tingling there in your forehead just kind of breathe it in deeply breathe in into your abdominal region for five breathe in five four three two one hold five four three two one and out five four three two one and just make sure after we do this after you watch this video you drink a lot of water and um, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables okay because you are decalcifying the toxins need to empty and exit your body it can only do that through your exploratory system which includes your bladder and your intestines okay so and there we go there we go it's decalcifying so now let's collect all that collect all that negative energy that created and send it out to the sun where the sun turns all negative energy to positive energy and helps for you oh yes and i send it with mine too and thank you virgos take a deep breath now go do some reiki and healing for me okay <laughs> all right now uh thank you for waiting libras 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 oh my goodness libra this is happening in your 11th house so your friendship is really uh changing okay you're having new opportunities new groups that you're joining with um new friends and um also realize this is also dealing with your stepchildren or your adopted children okay a lot of people don't realize stepchildren and adopted children fall in the 11th house okay besides your new goals what is it your new purpose your themes for your lifetime and how are you going to move about it and how are you going to enjoy it and what is the direction you're going to take libra it's a whole new world for you okay i'm excited okay <clears throat> uh, what do we got scorpios okay this is happening in your 10th house so you have uh probably getting new bosses new opportunities at work supervisor something's going on with your father um you know so do be aware of that and know that um take advantage for these opportunities also especially since we're going to be having an eclipse in your house and then with scorpio there you're gonna i mean i was sad that you're gonna feel a little bit hindered and uh, resistance with obstacles don't take it personally it is for your good you will have uh, get growth out of this and um you will then be able to move ahead also so just know that and just be patient and um, once again don't take it personally be in control of yourself roll it off go work out go swim have fun okay um let's see here and, and do the merkaba breathing remember we breathe in breathe in breathe in through your nose all the way into your abdominal region let it hold for five and let that air go travel all the way up 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 to your crown chakra all the way back down through your spine all the way and release through our mouth and try and do that scorpio at least at least three to five times an hour really to get yourself grounded to bring more oxygen into your body okay uh sagittarius this is happening in your ninth house of travel higher studies okay of getting away of getting more connected to with the higher self of with the transformation there and um <clears throat> I'm doing this as if you guys know what it means. Come on, hand signs. <laughs> okay. Okay, getting together with the stars that are out there and, and the sun and all that. And um, with your God. And uh, like we say, the Masaya. Okay, in Spanish, you know, more than there, out there. Okay, and that's great because you've been wanting to. So maybe call it in, get the aliens to come. Uh, take you away for a while and go on a trip all right or make your connection there and really be one with god you are god we are god we are together in this and feeling that and commanding god to give you god wants to give you what you want okay just be sure you want it because he's he she it god is a trickster it's a muy picaro like we say in spanish you know um you know it gives you lessons to learn so if you say yeah i want a new dog it might give you a dog that's new to you 
and ravishes up your garden or eats all your shoes okay so think of those things okay um capricorn this is happening in your eighth house all right and um this is all about transforming you other people's finances and guess what something you actually really enjoy yet sometimes you deny yourself because you think you need to work hard first because play is not the place to endure and get ahead when you should if you play more enjoy it's <sighs> okay and i'm not talking about senseless sex quickie da 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 da, da. we're talking about making connection tantra okay yoga you know the kama sutra and i'm not talking about the american kama sutra that you see oh no really breathing in the essence of that other person you know when you're out there and you're gonna take that kiss and sometimes you're just breathing and you're sharing that essence okay you're like what <laughs> all right take one of my classes you know i do individual training and group training so um and we'll talk more about that uh, capricorn but trust me it's good for you it'll be healthy for you it's time for you to do it okay and do those connections and get your sass on okay so um what's next we have aquarius this is happening in your seventh house aquarius is all about partnerships okay business and um financial so you're expanding because Leo's in there also. So what happens this month is really going to see a pattern of what's going on for the rest of the year. So um, you're getting new partners. Make sure that the agreements are set and written and um, you're secure about it. Okay. Um, now, especially that Saturn has gone, it's a good time to write it down. Okay. And uh, so you have some kind of formality or handshake there. Uh, and... Um, you know an understanding if not mm, also know that this is also for open enemies meaning people that uh, who are going against you openly for example if you're a company like Monsanto and all the people who are going against you like Celestial Soul Wellness and pharmacy you know and the pharmacy and all these other people you know um, then those are your open meaning straight out the versus versus okay so uh, know that be aware of that it is also giving you time to find out what is your place what do you need in a partnership do you need a partnership okay and in what and how and to define yourself and to be clear on that because it could bring you know if you're very vague you can't and this is this new moon write it down be clear be clear be clear so let's continue on and we have Pisces this is happening near six health six sixth the, the sixth house okay and this is your daily routine your your co-workers your health your um how you're taking care of yourself your daily routine is changing you're going and doing new stuff towards your health and um you're taking a new approach and that's really nice and wonderful and um because you get bored anyway so you like change you like challenges uh good challenges okay if not you end up creating trauma trauma for a change you know it's true and you like that okay um small pets also are changing okay things are going on with the pets in your life so see what's going on with that and get them make sure that they're being healthy okay get involved um people who also work with you or work for you in your home or around you you know uh, if you so happen to have a chauffeur send them over I would like them to drive where I can read oh goodness that'd be nice but anyway anybody who helps you like if you have a person who helps you in the garden or someone who washes the dishes and washes your clothes and stuff like that okay maybe you need someone new something to consider maybe you want to offer they give you services well you offer them room and board you know some kind of agreement okay so understand too that there is no master without a servant there is no servant without a master and a master actually gives pleasure to the servant for having pleasured him or her and uh, the masters and mistress is um, being pleasured and it's also for their wants and it's an understanding okay 
and um, an agreement. So there is that in that case. Okay, now we're looking here. I got quiet, huh? <laughs> like, finally, she shut up. Yes, she can do it. <laughs> All right, real quickly, let's talk about the heart chakra and um, our health. This is not all about health, food, um, incense, essential oils, yoga. Okay, this is the health part of um, uh, the segment, all right? So all, the, all of you who wanted the astrology, thank you. This still is astrology, and this is astrology taking it to a higher, uh, higher level. Okay, and so understand we're talking about the heart chakra. Why the heart chakra? Obviously, um, because of the sun. The sun, um, Leo rules the heart. Okay, the blood, the pumping of the blood. <laughs> I'm like, right, okay. And so, blood pressure. A lot of people are going to have high and low blood pressure being affected during this next year because Jupiter being in Leo. So, that expansion is going on and that creativity. And it can happen and it's going to, you know, frustrating. If people are always going their ego, they're always, and they're not taking deep breaths in and it's creating an overabundance on their heart. So you're going to see statistics always happens that there's more heart attacks during this time. So please learn to stay grounded. Okay. Um, one of the re ways you can remember it's a fire sign. You don't want internal combustion and people laugh when I say that and I mean it. Okay. It has happened, uh, you know, uh, and that's because people are so full of fire inside. And, and then they're eating things that create more fire than they're boiling, okay? They have nowhere to go. So on a spiritual plane, understand to remember the heart chakra is the anara, uh, anara, I'm sorry, okay? Which is uh, unstruck sound. And that's very important because, meaning, if our heart chakra is struck, we're giving. We're not asking to receive. And a pure, grounded heart chakra is always giving. It receives that one little thing. Okay? I'm looking for my bell if I have my bell here. Okay, I have it downstairs. Oh, I gotta remember to bring props. Okay. And and with that one little kiss, it can give tons of love. All right, and a lot of people are wanting. It's like, where am I gonna get love from? Where am I gonna get? They're so desperate without realizing it's all around. It's all superfluous around us and in us, and we can give and give and give. The more we give, the more we get in return unconditionally, and that's what's really important with the heart chakra, is that giving and that opening compassionately and unconditionally. All right. Um, and do know too it's a fire okay we talked about that and um, it also rules the thalamus besides the heart the heart chakra and so um, you know staying grounded um, the hypothalamus too so which is um, back here a lot of people think they have thyroid problems when it's actually the thalamus or hypothalamus okay which means that their adrenals yes your adrenals of survival skill <gasps> okay which are located in your kidneys though the kidneys are ruled by libra the adrenals okay mm, all right okay need to stay balanced and is ruled by the heart okay if we can stay balanced and know that we're safe and know we're good we're not going to have any of that problem and then that's going to calm down our thalamus and our uh, hypothalamus and our thyroid and it's about okay it's a domino effect some of the things we can do for that just so you know i wrote this all down uh the other day so here we go um i do know too that we're talking about the solar plexus which is all air air it's mental okay and so where it's thought and intellect and then this ruled by venus and mercury okay and so it's all about the being self-aware time of self-awareness um, the ego, the self-esteem, human spirit, determination, vitality. All right. What was that? So, <laughs> okay. So, pleasure, enjoyable activities that encourage us to be decadent, you know, hedonistic, or sensuality. 
very much here. We're not talking about sexuality in, in the sense, you're like, but over there, you know, you're saying exactly. We are talking about, remember, sensuality, romance, and all that, okay? Um, Christ consciousness. This is time for Christ consciousness to learn to be absolute conditional giving love through compassion of our heart. We talked about it, I've mentioned that so many times. Our heart chakra's raw ability to give love and receive love since it rules how we shine, it rules and shines over our aura. What kind of an aura are you? A lot of people um, who are more dense and the vibration frequency is lower can't handle people like me. They're like, oh, you guys are, you know, you're, you're too out there, you too, you know, and it's not, it's that they just can't, and it's okay, I'm like, that's all right, you didn't need to join my ride anyway, you know, so, but at the same time, knowing that we're so energetic, yet grounded, and happy, and, you know, giving, and, and just like, ah, oh, okay, uh, there's a difference between being bubbly and ditzy, all right, so, and now don't make any jokes that, <laughs> I think I walked into that one. I saw that one. Okay, I saw that. Maybe some of you didn't. All right. When we have a um, when our solar plexus, which is the Manipura, okay, or Manipura, you know, depending on uh, your preference of uh, pronunciation, okay, an unbalanced solar plexus blinds us. Okay, it, it gives us negative expressions such as self dominance, lacking courage to take risks not having our limits and boundaries, all right? Hence, having difficulties expressing the true authentic self, demanding others to back off because they themselves can't just walk away. They can't deal with the situation, okay? So what's really important is daily, is do what makes you happy on a daily, daily basis. And that's what's uh, very important. If not all the time, at least once or twice a day, okay? Um, I'm hoping to have uh, rainbow sherbet later okay um not that you cared but <laughs> an example of doing something that makes us happy daily okay um when our lower chakras are not balanced it really blocks our ability towards our higher aware and consciousness okay because we need to make sure this is all balanced because remember the root is about survival the sacred about reproducing then root to be grounded all right and then it's the the heart that's the middle one okay and then we have the throat all oh, that <laughs> that hurt okay um the pineal and the um the brow and the crown okay and so it's the middle one we really need to make sure that this is balanced a really good balanced heart chakra is showing acts of love okay without anticipation or consideration no thoughts of reward. And do you know that sometimes not offering help is an act of love? Yes. Okay. Um, I think you can understand because you might be uh, disabling the person, enabling them not to be able to, you know, you want them to stand on their own two feet, in other words. And if you're constantly, it's not going to, you know, be good. And that could be emotionally also. Um, so, uh, let's see. Consideration, not thoughts of reward. Doing so because it feels good to show love, not because you want something to return. We tend to close our heart chakra a lot, uh, our vulnerability. And that's because uh, at one time or another, especially when we we're younger, we have suffered such great emotional hurts and wounds. But that is due because we were not taught how to acknowledge our limits and boundaries and maneuver ourselves by our parents or our society and our community. And it's a lack of understanding of ourselves, okay, and asking others. So we demand them to restrain themselves, all right, and um, for our personal sake and... Um, when really if we restrain ourselves you know unless it becomes something that is there's potential life or death or harmful to someone in the person's environment then they have to put a, a restraining on someone else okay for them to understand um so remember the more we are grounded the more we know ourselves and we have that book so and so for dummies you know we are we don't need to control others 
okay this is a time to be able to show your true authentic self okay <clears throat> no wonder after a while people break up or divorce or go on different journeys so that they may finally be their true authentic self because a lot of people play this game oh i'm gonna be on my best behavior in the beginning two years you know this and that because they're just because instead of saying hey you know what i'm attracting to what i need and let me be me we're not teaching that and that's very sad i mean i don't know i have a son and there was no way i was going to uh, let him watch any of those disney movies that talked about love because i was not going to allow him to have that kind of pressure or ridiculous anticipation imposed upon him with these ridiculous women letting their daughters watch that and then wanting men to be that way it's no no and so he's not, he doesn't. He's like, you know, these girls think that they're all princesses. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I wonder why. Maybe they have uh, mouse ears growing out of their heads. Okay. So, mm, okay. They could be a princess in their home with their parents, but not to anticipate everybody to treat them that way. Okay. So, you got to earn your respect, earn your attributes. All right. So, understand too that uh, one needs to grow and sometimes after a while the journey is going to split and that's very important so what we're going to do for the heart chakra and um and for um uh on the the blah, blah blah the heart chakra okay is knowing a lot of foods that have are green apples pears all right um also peaches okay uh, eating a lot of fruits and vegetables for that opening up the celery also um you know uh pepino cucumber okay very very good beets is good for that too and the solar anything orange citrus okay peaches again um opening that up avocados very good for it okay and really just seeing and having that seed out there um, understanding our own needs, being aware of our own limits and boundaries, okay, being self-reliant, no matter what someone else does, we can stay grounded, and those foods are going to help us. People who are um, in, indulging in self-pity or self-absorption is an attribute to an unbalanced heart chakra, all right? And so now we're going to continue to know that with those foods, you can go out there. We're uh, advertising to help you to uh, the crystals. Oh, I kind of jumped ahead. So let's start with the crystals, okay? Uh, for the heart and uh, the solar plexus is the rose crystal, okay? Water, uh, the watermelon uh, um, tourmaline, jade, yellow citrine, top uh, topaz, uh, amber, peridot, herkimer uh, diamonds. Aventurine, I told you, topaz, and fool's gold. And I think I said a couple redundant, but true. Um, always uh, remember, too, you have the essential oils, um, incense and essential oils that are really good for this time to really help and open up. Is the, anything is citrusy, orange, orange blossom, neroli, frankincense, acacia, uh, uh, calendula, uh, cinnamon, bay, saffron, rose, myrtle, jasmine, benzoin, apple, chamomile cardamom, gardenia, hyacinth, okay, lilac, magnolia, vanilla, musk, licorice, lemon, grapefruit, Jupiter, juniper, sorry, I'm like, that is, I'm like that's a planet, not a, uh, you know, plant, carnation, lily of the valley, bergamot, lang lang, melissa, rosemary, rosewood, and myrrh, okay, I'm pretty sure I missed some out there, but the, right now, those are the ones I got my hands on, okay, and so, you know, put that on to really help open rest. You know, good thing too, if you have um, alkalizing, uh, Himalayan alkalized rocks, you know, and you heat it up and just put it there, okay? And uh, just rest and meditate. And a good meditation after you do some yoga and uh, some very good yoga positions to open up the heart chakra and the solar plexus is the first and second twist, okay? Uh, first and second open balance and the uh, yudhiyana um, banda also the boat also known as the navasana okay the fish the crescent moon uh, pose um the side forward band and um the usinkana 
okay so those are some good um, yoga poses for opening up those chakras and a good meditation you know put some yellow orange gold white green rose pink okay candles out there put some ls uh incense and write your new moon list yes your new moon list okay in the next 36 hours they say 18 but you know what if it can affect um you know if the astrology affects all those for already five degrees after i would even say you know it should affect us too for the next four or five days so and remember you want to really breathe in and say i am worthy of love i am part of god's love i am god's love i give and receive god's love i am one with it i am one with nature okay to be the grounded with the solar plexus i am worthy of being in this universe i'm worthy of being alive I'm worthy of understanding, okay? And I'm worthy of being accepting no matter what others say. I can breathe. I can stand on my own two feet. I stand on my own two feet. I am the sun. I am the universe. I am worth my weight in, in gold and Herkimer diamonds and crystals, okay? I am the light that shines forth and gives and nurtures other people and breathe in and you tell yourself I love you and in this case I love you sirena nereida I love you sirena nereida I love you sirena nereida say your name not my name oh you can love me too you know but in the meditation I love you sirena nereida I love you sirena nereida I love you sirena nereida and do that every morning every night for at least 10 times and give yourself that love it might be difficult some of you realize if you're having tears and all that how you really didn't feel that you deserved it one way or another but do remember that's because of our environment and and there and people are always hurting parents uh, adults are not perfect in fact they're more screwed up because they're more their barrels more full of emotional toxins than kids okay and the kids are taught by these you know uh, tainted uh, souls unfortunately and all we can do is just stay grounded and teach our children that and teach our children to be loving and good and how to be aware and sidetrack that negativity I say sidetrack it you know because you don't need to and put it you know for them to put it like a mirror so that way it hits and goes to the sun because the sun transfers all negative energy all negative toxins into positive and releases that into the universe and that's what we need more and remember too is by breathing in and breathe in that air and just feel it travel down your spine opening up your shoulder blades open up your heart and you know if you have the block while you're lying down in meditation doing your yoga stretch just do that to open up your your heart okay and if you could take some kind of uh, essence you know herbal essence for your heart and lungs just to open that up you know this next year just to make sure it's running well more oxygen i suggest you do so okay and just and artichokes by the way I didn't mention that before artichokes very good obviously artichoke hearts okay olives very good for the body there for your heart I say I am worthy I have no fear and if you're not sure if any of these affirmations meditate on the meditation that we made muscle test yourself remember and see if you have blocks if you do have blocks and resistance give me a call for your own personal reading um give me a so i can open my eyes now right come on okay give me a call and i'll do your personal reading for you check on your personal chart and we'll clear any of those uh obstacles and resistance all right i um have a great uh, review if you guys see it on thumbtack and besides on my website okay uh from my clients and i'm just thrilled uh you know, I have a lot of recurring clients. And then you're like, why are you having recurring clients? Aren't you clearing them all? Well, sometimes it comes up when they need it. And we collect new toxins and new issues as we go along, okay? So, watch what you say.
got it okay so anyway so any of that you know be thrilled be happy be loved and know that i am here i'm sirena nereda always always available for you text me email me i'm also um at a new email it's guess what it's sirena at celestial soul wellness okay actually it's sirena nereda at celestial soul wellness.com i know i transferred i finally got a technical i did it by myself aha uh -huh, my curious moon is finally kicking in okay isn't that cool um i know <laughs> hey i can't learn it all you know goodness i speak five languages and i do this and i do healings you know if i learn it all then i don't have p uh, people in my life you know they have no need uh i have no need for them that's not cool so all right so give each other a lot of love give each other those hugs you know give my belly dancing uh instructor uh coach uh fatim uh, always says and a kiss for self-love okay and just give yourself that love and by the way talking about dancing we're available for performances shows birthdays picnics okay creepo hula for the hawaiian i am for also i just love to dance you know for the um belly dancing all right um birthdays uh bachelorette parties okay just because girls night out um benefits uh functions uh so anything like that um we're available i'm available for uh, also astrology readings at birthday parties you know quick readings or healings and things like that um we do or i sense or i have other people in my in our locale that would like to and we i know people around um, the world so give me a call and we can help you out with that all right and um let's see here call me for individual reading i said in healings already uh find me at uh, celestial soul wellness i'm also on sirena's well-being i've tried to change that i really have to you know celestial soul wellness hasn't left me they're like why don't you just cancel start on and i know huh you're asking me to do too much technologically i got other things i'm doing all right and i still cook and i'm a mommy can you believe that <laughs> so yeah and um uh, also you could contact me you guys know my phone number it's on my website you know or text me email me you know just be polite please if you just say hey da 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 i don't do it you know give a nice greeting you know good morning it's all about positive energy i got one person said what's going on with leo I'm like i don't know is that someone you know you know i'm a very sarcastic person back so watch it okay so it's best to be polite say hello and give positive greetings and proper you know nice um namaste blessings okay have a wonderful 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 next two weeks because this is what we're all talking about and just be up there and play 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 thank you for watching